If you know me, you know I'm a sucker for a sale. This 10 pound pork butt was originally $27.60, then it was $17.34, and then it was $11. It's been in my freezer for a few months, taking up a bunch of space, so it's time to cook it. I just trimmed off some of the fat in the thicker areas, and then I pat it dry with paper towels. For the seasoning, I combined one tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, cayenne pepper, chili powder, and onion powder. Just rub that in all over. I ended up using only about three fifths of this mix. Also, I'm going to be honest, my first idea was to sous vide the pork butt, but it didn't fit in the vacuum sealer bag, so I pivoted to the oven. I wrapped it in foil and placed it in a 300 Fahrenheit degree oven for 4 hours, and I'll see you in the second part. Just kidding. This gave me enough time to water my dying plant. After 4 hours, I unwrapped the pork and upped the temp to 320. If you're curious, the temp at this point was 122. I placed it in for 2 hours to see where it would be at. It was 160, so I did another 2 hours. It's at 188, which is closer to the 200 I'm looking for. 30 minutes later, and it was good to go. I wrapped it in the foil I saved from earlier and let it rest for an hour. And this is how it looks. I don't know why, I kept having the urge to poke at it. And it's not fall apart like in those videos of people using their hands to squeeze the meat, but the meat is still juicy and it has a good bark. I think instead of increasing the temp to 320, next time I'll just leave it at 300 to see if the meat becomes even more tender, although the cook time would increase. Overall, I'm happy with my first oven roasted pork butt. <laughs> so cool. The outside is crispy. 